Hi friends, here is a really nice problem. We are given this function f of x equal to greater strength of function of x times cos of 2x minus 1 by 2 times pi. Now, we want to discuss the continuity of this function. This is the product of two functions, right? One is this one. The second one is this one, right? Two functions, if both are continuous, let's say there is something like this. Two functions, both are continuous. Obviously, the product will also be continuous. Something like this. This into this, this into this point into this point, this point into this point, whatever, whatever. Right. If both functions are continuous, then product will naturally be continuous. But here, that is not the case. This greatest integer function of x, this breaks at every integer. Right. So, between 0 to 1, this is 0. Then what will the function become? The function will become 0. 0 times whatever this thing. Between 1 to 2, what will this function be? It will become greater strength function of x is 1. So, 1 times cos of 2x minus 1 by 2 times pi. Between 2 to 3, what will it become? It becomes 2 times cos 2x minus 1 by 2 times pi. Okay. Now, uh, we have to verify at these integers because this is where it can break because this breaks at every integer. Right. Now, let us closely look at this function cos of 2x minus 1, uh, cos of uh, 2x minus 1 by 2 pi. This is nothing but cos of x minus 1 by 2 pi. Right, cos of x minus 1 by 2 into pi. Now, let us try to understand how this graph will look like. We know cos x graph, right? Cos x, it looks something like this. Right, this is 0 and this is 2 pi. The period is 2 pi. Right, and uh, let us try to look at how the graph of cos pi x will look. Right. How does the cos, cos of, cos of pi x? If, if it is x, then the period is 2 pi. If it is 2 x, the period is 2 pi by 2, which is pi. And if it is pi x, what is the period? 2 pi by pi, which is equal to 2. What does that mean? From here to here, if you have to draw this graph, how does it look? If you have to draw this graph. Now, Instead of 2 pi, from the period is actually 2. What does that mean? 0 to 2. This point is 2. This point is 1. Right. The function after 2, it will repeat itself. That means from 2 to 4, it will repeat again. Then 4 to 6, it will repeat again. Right. So, instead of 0 to 2 pi, this is actually running between 0 to 2, it repeats. Right. That is cos pi x cos pi x. This is the graph of cos pi x. Now, what we want? f of x, let us say, if we are talking about this as some g of x. g of x is cos pi x. pi x. What is g of x minus half? It is equal to cos of pi into x minus half. Right. Now, g of x minus half is g of x shifted half units towards right. Right. For example, this is 0, this is 1, and this is half. Right. So, same graph shifted half units rightwards. That means, if this is, this is half, the same graph it would be like this. This is this is half, this is one, this is one point five, this is two, and this is two point five, and this is zero. Okay. So the basically the cos of x minus half into pi, the graph is actually looking like this. Okay. I'll show you in proper graph graph one also. So the graph that we have drawn. That is this one, right? Cos of uh, pi into x minus half. That is this graph. That's actually this graph. Okay. Cos of x minus half into pi. That is that is this blue graph. 
Okay. We have drawn what we have done. We have drawn the cost graph first. We have done the cost graph and the cost graph is still 0 to 2 pi. And then we have figured out cost pi x. Cost pi x, the period is actually 2. So that looks something like this. Right. Now cost pi times x minus half is the same graph shifted. Right. So for example, f of x, x square is something like this. f of x minus 2 whole square will look something like this. This is x minus 2 whole square. Same graph shifted rightwards by 2 units. This is x square. Similarly, cos of pi x minus half, pi times x minus half is half unit shifted. This graph shifted half units towards the right. So, if you shift it half units, then, then we will get something like this. Right. This graph is shifted half units. This graph is shifted this point. This point will come here. And this point will come here, whatever, like that. Okay. So the graph is shifted half units rightwards. What does that mean? So the important thing that we have to notice this one. So this graph is finishing. This. So this is half. And this is 2.5. So it is finishing, the cost is finishing its cycle between half and 2.5. Right. Otherwise, cost originally finished its cycle between 0, between 0 and 2 pi, but cost pi x will finish between 0 and 2 and cost pi into x minus half is, shift, is finishing between half and 2.5. What does it mean? Between 0 and 2, it will be like this. It will be like a sine curve between 0 and 2. Okay. Now, now the interesting thing. What is the interesting thing? So, what we are concerned about? We are concerned about a greatest in the function of x times cos of 2x minus 1 by 2 pi. So, this blue one is cos of 2x minus 1 2 by pi. Now, with the same graph, we are multiplying, right, between 0 to 1. Between 0 to 1, we are multiplying with 0. Right, that is this one. Between 0 to 1, greatest in the function of x is 0. Between 1 to 2, you are multiplying with 1. Because greatest in the function of 1, 1 to 2 is 1. Right. Between 2 to 3, you are multiplying with 2. So, whatever this point 1 becomes 2. So, this graph, you are multiplying with 2 times. So, it is going double. Between 3 to 4, you are multiplying that with 3 times like this. Okay. So, whatever this point, this point is minus 1. To show this, it becomes minus 3, the lowest point. Right. So, basically, we are taking this cost graph. What we have done, what is the question? The question is about taking a cost graph and compress it and compress it so that the period is actually between, uh, period is for 2 units. That means, every 2 units, it will repeat. Instead of every 2 pi units, it will repeat after every 2 units and then shift it and then shift it a bit so that you are getting zeros after every integer. Right. At 3, 4. Otherwise, regular cause, uh, once once you did this transformation, it was getting zero at half, 3 by 2, 5 by 2 and all. So, we have shifted by half unit so that we get zeros at 0, 1, 2, 3 and all. Now, why, why, they, are do, why they are doing this? Because, because once you are getting zeros, at every integral point, what does that mean? That means when you are multiplying with this uh, greatest integer function of x, right? This whatever this cup, this cup grows in every every between every two integers, the size of this cup is growing, right? But you are forcing forcing this point, you are forcing continuity here, right? The size of cup is growing, but but there will be continuity at these integers. Right, because the cup is there actu actually between uh, two integers. Because you multiply with this with this one, or you multiply with this 0.5 or 0.25, whatever, the starting point is zero, ending point is zero. So the cup, whatever you do, it will start at zero, it will end at zero. Whether you multiply with two times or ten times, it doesn't actually matter. You will still maintain continuity at each integer. That is what we are doing here. So. This greatest integer of function of x, it is helping us in magnifying this curve, but it cannot do anything 
to the starting point and ending point which is which is zero in these cases right so this function is actually continuous at all points at any interior point it is anyway continuous because uh, this cos 2x minus 1 by 2 pi this is anyway continuous all over this part is always continuous and this one is also continuous at all interior points at non integer places is anyway continuous so the product of this at normal places is anyway continuous only the worry was at integers how will it happen but here what you have done this graph is structured in such a way or constructed in such a way that at integers the values are actually zero so any product of this because between any two integers you are making a wave like this and we are multiplying with two times ten times it doesn't matter which still it has to end at zero so you are maintaining that continuity so so this graph is uh, is continuous at all points it discontinues at no x right this is a very interesting problem please uh, try to understand this this was main little uh, tricky let's say this pi was not there okay let's say we are trying to understand a graph like greatest in the function of x into cos x okay let us try to understand that also for our better understanding this is our regular cos graph the red one okay red one is our uh, regular cos graph at 0 it is 1 and uh, at 2 pi that is roughly 6.2 this is 2 pi right 6.2 that is uh, at pi that is 3.1 this is our pi at pi it is our minus 1 at pi by 2 1 point 6 it is 0 at 3 pi by 2 also it is 0 at 2 pi it is 1 this is our regular cost graph now here what we are trying to do we are trying to do greatest standard function of x into cos x please understand this now between 1 to 0 to 1 this is anyway 0 so the product of 0 and greatest in the function of x is 0. So the product of this part and 0 is actually equal to 0. So the green one is this graph. The green one is this graph. Greatest in the function of x into cos x. Now between 1 and 2. Between 1 and 2, greatest in the function of x is actually 1. So 1 into cos x. So the graph will coincide like this. Between 1 and 2. This graph is this. Okay. The green and red are coinciding. That is this part. Between 1 and 2 is this graph. Between 2 and 3. Between 2 and 3 what is happening? This becomes 2 cos x. Right. So, this graph taken and multiplied twice. Between 2 and 3. The cos x graph which is taken like this. Between this point. Between 2 and 3. This part and multiplied twice. Right. So, whatever this point is there, if it is 0.5, it becomes, if it is 0.4, it becomes 0.8. If it is 0.6, it becomes 1.2. If it is 0.8, it becomes 1.6. Whatever. So, this graph, this from this part to this part is multiplied twice. So, that's why it has become more negative. Between 3 to 4, it would be multiplied 3 times. So, this point, 3 times of this is this. Right, so it should be probably some 0.7, it is that's why it's around minus 2, minus 0 0.7, minus 0 0.2. This is again minus minus 1, roughly this becomes minus 3. Right, so each successive break between every two integers you are taking, and that part you are multiplying 3 times, 4 times, 5 times, whatever. Right, between 4 to 5, this part, between 4 to 5. That is this part, this should be multiplied four times. So this naturally this part will go down and this part will go up because this is negative and this is positive. At zero, it will remain zero. Right, this point is zero. So that's zero, it will remain zero. So this graph, if I you see this greatest the function of x into cos x, it breaks, it breaks at every integer. It breaks at every integer because there is a break. This one is creating the break. Though cos x is actually continuous. Because there is a break, at one there is a break. At one there is a break because one side it is here, another side it is here. At two there is a break because one side it is here, another side it is here. So please look at the green ones. This is the green one. This is the green one. At three there is a break 
this is from the left side, this is from the right side. At fourth, there is a break. This is from the left side, this is from the right side. Everywhere, there is a break. Why this is happening? Because, because we are not, in this graph, at 1, it is not 0. Right. At 1, it is not 0. So, that is why, before 1, it is multiplication with 0. And after 1, it is multiplication with 1. So, that is why there is a break. Right. Greatest integer of function of x into cos x, there are so many breaks in this multiplication. But in this multiplication, the difference between this and this is, in this multiplication, the cos curve, actually the cycle is between, is trending between 0 and pi and pi and 2 pi. But here the cycle is actually between 0 and 1 and 1 and 2. Right. So now greatest integer function, that cycle is also between 0 and 1 and 1 and 2. So that is why even if you multiply, multiply with 1 times or 2 times or whatsoever, you are magnifying this wave, you are magnifying this curve, but the entire cup is fitting between 2 and 3. But here, the entire cup is not fitting between 2 and 3 or 1 and 2. So, this cup we are forced to break between 2 and 3. So, for example, um, this cup is happening from here to here. Right. And now, we are forced to break as whenever there is an integer in between. Here, that was not needed. Because the, we are trying to uh, magnify the cup within the integers and the cup is also fitting within the integers. Right. So, that is why this graph is actually continuous all the time. And how did we do this? By manipulating the period of this cos function. Right. Period of cos x is actually 2 pi. Period of cos x is 2 pi. That means the graph will repeat itself after 2 pi units. After 2 pi units. Now, period of cos pi x, cos pi x is actually should be equal to 2, right. x will be 2 pi, 2 x is pi, right. And pi x is 2 pi by pi, which is equal to 2, right. So, in this graph, that is why the period was changed to 2, that is why then, and, and then it was shifted half units, it was shifted half units to make, ensure that this cup of the cos of the cos curve is actually falling between two integers so that whatever uh, times you multiply this curve, it will actually get magnified, but still it will start at zero, it will end at zero, and there is continuity maintained. Okay, so that is the beauty of this problem. Right, hope you like this. And uh, not just algebraic way, we need to understand the graphical way. That's why I have tried to explain it this way. Otherwise, if you have to go only by the algebraic way, then you can say that uh, one whenever x is an integer, you can directly say this is uh, 3 pi by 2 or 5 pi by 2 or 7 pi by 2 and all. 2x minus 1 is a odd number, right? 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, 7 pi by 2 and all. So, this cos 1 always tends to 0 uh, at every integer, right? Uh, because it is 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, 7 pi by 2. And whatever x, uh, it uh, whatever x with which you multiply, whatever integer with which you multiply, because this is anyway trending at 0, so there will be continuity at each integer point. So, you can say this is always continuous. That is the algebraic way of uh, saying things. But uh, ideally, we should understand uh, the graphical way also to appreciate the problem and have deeper understanding. Right, guys? I think we have covered two problems here. Uh, greatest integer function of x into cos x also, as well as this adjusted function. Adjusted uh, the period, so that the period falls between uh, the period is actually an integer. Here the period is actually a multiple of, uh, period is actually 2 pi. Here the period is 2. Right. Thank you guys.